Not only can you create a training manual like this in the blink of an eye, you can even create interactive software simulation manuals easily in Active Presenter. That's an amazing feature that not many e-learning software includes. So, let's learn from A to Z how to record screens and edit the recordings to make an interactive software simulation manual. First, open Active Presenter and choose Record Interactive Simulation. A dialog appears allowing you to choose a custom area or record the full screen. You can even record your voice at the same time or later record while editing. Then, click the red button to record the screen. Just guide step by step. But remember, the recorded output will not be a full motion recorded video. After finishing, you will see a series of slides on the left side of the workspace. They are normal image slides and video slides. For a video slide, just edit them the way you edit video recordings following the tutorial at the card above. Here, the main difference between video recordings and software simulation recordings lies in the normal image slides. You can see the slide names, smart annotations, cursor paths, mouse clicks, keystrokes, text boxes, and feedback messages. They are interactive elements automatically generated when you choose this recording function. First, with the slides, Delete the unwanted slides and rename the other slides to easily follow. Moving on to cursor parts. They are created based on the realistic mouse movement on screen in the capturing phase, enabling you to stimulate mouse movements and clicks. Each slide can only include one cursor part. You can customize this cursor path to a straight or curved one by right-clicking. Or click anywhere on the path to create another point, then use this control point to make the shape you want. Next, adjust the cursor settings in more details like exact positions, timing, or click point changes. Then, set up the cursor path effects and apply the settings to all cursor paths in the project if you want. Watch the detailed tutorial about how to edit cursor paths at the video tag above, as well as check out written guides in the description box. Next is the mouse click. Just drag the handles to resize and reposition. Format them and style them in the properties pane. In Active Presenter, any interactable objects need to have events and actions set up. Here, imagine like this. When viewers click on this mouse click area, it means they have followed the guide message correctly. So, the audio of the click will be played and the next action, go forward, is triggered. If viewers do not click correctly, an incorrect message will appear warning them to click again. Details about how to set up this clickable area for mouse click can be found at the tag video above. Now, coming to the smart annotations. They are the guide messages in the form of shapes with text I mentioned above. They are automatically generated during the capture phase to show users how to perform a specific step. So, 
customize the text for better explanation if needed, and customize the shape for more good-looking visuals. Feedback messages are also automatically created. They are initially hidden and only appear after a particular action. Their purpose is to give feedback on user tasks, whether right or wrong, and to help users fix the actions and get to know to the flow better. By default, only incorrect feedback is generated after recording. You can enable the correct or hover feedback messages before the capturing phase in the recording settings of this dialog. Choose annotation and tick the options you want. Now back to editing messages. Just change the text, reshape, and restyle them similarly to editing normal shape objects. And easily add another message by right-clicking the object, insert, choose one type. Check out the video above to see more specifically how to work with feedback messages. Finally, add voiceover to XSlide if you did not choose to record your voice while recording before. So before choosing this red button, choose the recording options to check the input device and volume. Then, start recording. When everything is done, it's time to export the project. If you just want a document menu with image slides and annotations, like our user manual here, choose the document outputs, for example, PDF. A written tutorial about this has also been included in the description box. But, if you want to share it to users in the forms of a tutorial slide after slide, then make your users interact with the output to help them remember and redo the process many times. Choose this e-learning format. If you check the demonstration mode, the slide will automatically run to give a demo to the users. If you choose one of the other three modes left, the users can now interact with each slide and get to know the steps on their own based on the guide messages. That's it! Hope you have had a clearer overview of this helpful feature. Active Presenter is no doubt the ultimate tool for trainers and teachers. So, download the app and subscribe to our channel now for more tutorials and tips. Goodbye!